In this lesson, we're going to discuss a healthcare application of clustering called phenotyping. Phenotypes are medical concepts such as diseases or conditions. We know many phenotypes of patients based on existing medical knowledge, such as major diseases. But there are many more phenotypes and their subtypes out there that we haven't discovered. Computational phenotyping is a way to use data available to us to discover those novel phenotypes. Phenotypes aren't just for disease diagnosis though. We can also use those phenotypes for predicting healthcare cost, readmission risk, and supporting genomic studies. Now let's talk about computational phenotyping. Computational phenotyping is about converting raw electronic health record through phenotyping algorithms into a set of meaningful medical concepts, or phenotypes. For example, a specific disease can be a phenotype, such as type 2 diabetes. And the raw data, in this case, consists of many different sources such as demographics about patients, diagnosis code, medication information, clinical procedure, lab result, and clinical notes. There are many reasons why phenotypes are not represented consistently or reliably in the raw data. First, the data are noisy, there are missing data and raw information in the raw data. And second, the main usage of this data is to support clinical operations, such as billing. And it's not designed directly for supporting research. Third, there are many overlapping and redundant information. For example, diagnosis information can be found in the structure field corresponding to diagnosis code. But the same information can also be present as in structure information in the clinical notes. This information is overlapping and redundant in the raw data. And phenotyping is this process of deriving research grade phenotypes from clinical data using computer algorithms. Here's a phenotyping algorithm for type 2 diabetes. And the goal here is, we want to determine whether patient has type 2 diabetes based on her electronic health records. For example, we can first check whether the patient has type 1 diabetes code in her record. If no, then we check whether type 2 diabetes diagnosis are present in her record. If still no, then we check medication for type 2 diabetes. Then, check abnormal lab result related to diabetes. If these two steps are confirmed then we confirm she has type 2 diabetes. There are many different paths that can lead to the confirmation of type 2 diabetes, and this decision flow is a phenotyping algorithm. This was developed manually by clinical experts. There are many different applications that require phenotyping. For example, genomic study which is about finding relationship between genomic data and phenotypic data. Clinical predictive modeling, which is about building an accurate, robust, and interpretable prediction model about disease onset and other related targets, such as hospitalization. And pragmatic clinical trials, which is about comparing treatment effectiveness in the real-world clinical environment using observational data, like electronic health records. And healthcare quality measurement, which is about measuring efficiency and quality of care across different hospitals. All those applications depends on phenotyping algorithms.